Hi guys, Mrs. Chester here. Actually a little bit overlit because my, my southern window is ringing in the light. And I had a call this morning, since I'm still at home recovering from my surgery, I had a call this morning from a fundraiser. Uh, I'm not going to name the name, but they said the fundraiser basically collecting things for victims of 9-11. Now, 9-11 was 18 years ago. And I know there are still people affected by it, and that's what I'm going to talk about right now. Um, I know people who were in the emergency services who had terrible health problems because of 9-11. We lost a fireman in, in this town. Uh, but there, there are people now, there are kids in school, high school, college, you know, young adults who don't know a world before 9-11. And if I was to explain it to someone, I'd say 9-11, before 9-11, the police were like the cops on Dennis the Menace. They were friendly and happy. And now, now the world is so ugly. I remember going into the city shortly after 9-11 and seeing the, the camo uh, giant rifle military. This generation does not remember when the military weren't all over the fucking place. Um, that, that the world is, is so ugly now that we, regardless of whether you think that 9-11 was a conspiracy and they had all those videos up, and I think some of them are coming down now, regardless of whether you, you think it was actually a terrorist attack or whether it was an inside job and and all these people coming forward saying, well, no, this isn't right, that isn't right. Have, have we all been duped? I'm not here to question whether we've all been duped. I do know that the consequences of this has made the world a very ugly place. And it, and it, it depresses the hell out of me. Uh, it's only taught us to hate each other. And to a, a phone call for a clothing donation brings back these things when 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 did this start do you do you guys even remember i remember my kids were in school i remember watching it on tv at work we were panicking we were chickens without heads what's next what's next and um that what's next dynamic has has continued has continued unabated maybe below the surface like a like a, a ball that refuses to to sink that 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 what next dynamic has fed so many children and and you think of all these school shooters the school shooters are not brown people from islamic countries they're 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 upset damaged entitled white people for for the most part and we've done that We've done that. The, the Muslims have not done that. We have done that. And, and people with torches. The world is turned into a place of hate. This country is a place of hate. The, you, it's, and you wonder, like, no, no, this, this couldn't be done on purpose. Right, yeah. Why do I even come on here today? Just, just to tell you that there are those of us who remember what it was like before and those of us who still believe that the world is a good place and that whatever conspiracy you like to say, whether you say Illuminati, whether you say uh, uh, you know, jihadist, whoever is at fault cannot change um, the basic goodness of a human being. And um, I've been sitting home a lot, you can tell. But, but I, I, not too far from me is the Flight 800 Memorial, if you remember Flight 800. Uh, when a plane was, again, the theory was shot down or blew up or whatever. And, and, and I don't know, people don't even talk about that. We have the horror, and then we brush it aside, and we go find a new horror, and and turning against each other. It's not it's not the way to go. 
it's not the way to be. And, and we're better than that. And, and for someone, you know, I don't know if this clothing place was legitimate or not. That It's really a material. What, what, what brought it home to me was like, yeah, yeah, you don't forget these things. Uh, but you can get past them. I always hate that phrase, never forget, because never forget just puts a big lump of, of anger in, into a heart. And um, that's not going to do anybody any good. So, um, wow, <laughs> it's, it's so long ago, but yet you remember it, right? So, you know, there, go back to those places, you know. I mean, you go back to the places where we didn't have, we didn't have this hate. We didn't have this, this finger pointing. I mean, there was always finger pointing. White people always have pointed fingers at, at darker people. But this has to stop. It, it has to eventually end one way or the other, doesn't it? And, and you don't want it ending in, in a bad way. You don't want it ending in, in annihilation. I, I'm i surprised that Bernie Sanders is running again. I really think he's too old for the job at this point. I think we need somebody younger. I think we need someone who... Uh, huh, is it possible to find somebody who is uh, not in the pocket of uh, one party or another? I don't know. This is a lot of minutes here. It's almost seven minutes and have I come to a conclusion. No, I'm... I'm just letting you know that I, I remember bef things things before 9/11, and I wish I wish that more people did. Thank you.